jumping into B, it's the same idea that I have these one, this time one, two, three, four, five, six points that it wants a dy over dx or slope of. So I have zero, negative one, zero, one. 0, 2, 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, and dy over dx. Um, this becomes 0 minus negative 1, or just a 1, 0 minus 1, or negative 1, 0 minus 2, or negative 2, so a more negative slope. Oh, this is two times one. Should become a three. So that's a steeper slope. Two times one minus one. It's gonna be a one. Two times one minus two is gonna be a zero. You guys, I should have filled out my chart first. So one, two is zero. This is a one and this is a three. Yeah. So I filled out my chart and then I did my dots. So we are, this is drawing a slope field for this differential equation. Okay, next we're gonna try matching. Here's my differential equation options and here's my slope field. So I know I'm going to notice a couple things. When it equals zero is really helpful. So when the slope field equals zero is super helpful for us. So dy over dx equals zero when x equals negative 1. So what this means is x plus 1 is a factor. And we saw that dy, sorry, I'm literally just trying to move. There we go. And we saw that dy over dx equals zero when y equals zero. So this means that one of our factors is just a y. So dy over dx equals x plus 1 times y, which will get us xy plus y. So my option C. So when things equal 0 is really helpful, and we're going to see that continue to this next example. Um, so let's start with 8. So x plus x minus y is going to equal 0 when y equals x. So do I have any here that appear to be have a 0 and y equals x? Yes. So this is going to be d then. Um, I see an obvious 0 here as well. So this is going to equal 0 when y equals 2. So it's going to be a So sometimes it's a little harder to C um, B D and C both have x equals 0 
So this is going to equal 0 when x equals 0, which can apply to b or d, so it's not as helpful. So how we're going to think about these is if I were to integrate this, this means that y is probably 1 half x squared plus c. This looks a lot like my graph of b. So if you can't tell by the zeros, it's helpful to integrate. Um, the derivative of, or the integral of sine is negative cosine, so it looks like y equals negative cosine of x plus c, which would make sense for c. So the integral, the, the sketch of the slope field will make the integral or the original equation of the differential equation. So we'll carry this on as we jump into the next page. We're going to look for zeros because that's usually easiest. So this equals zero when x equals two. Um, do I have any zeros at x equals two? So this equals zero when y equals zero. Do I have any ones that's when y equals zero? Um, it could be c or d, so we're going to take a second there and wait on that. So this equals zero when x equals zero and y equals zero. So this looks like a D option. Because I have zeros here and here. So this is going to be D. Um, this equals zero when y equals negative x, which looks like this A option. And C, I do have the zeros here. So that can be C. Okay, last one we're going to look at. Um, is a slope field from a certain differential equation is shown above. What is the following could be a specific solution to the differential equation? So this seems to look like this. Um, which looks like the ln function. So if the, so the sketch is going to make the solution. So if it was making a u, this solution would be x squared. If it was making something exponential, it would look like that, that we'd have a sign. Um, so this is going to be my ln one. So your guys' homework is on Delta Math. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions over email. I miss you guys. Let me know how I can help. I'll see you guys Monday.